What's up guys? John Champion here and welcome to The Champion Effect, the channel helping you stay motivated, keeping fit and creating an abundance of wealth. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, welcome and thank you. I do appreciate you being here. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. So in this episode, we're going to be doing a weekly breakdown on a few of the currency pairs that I'm looking at uh, trading this week. Um, I did start this last night, but then I started having connectivity issues uh, and then the power went out. So no backup generator, had to roll all the punches and here we are this evening. So uh, without further ado, I do have something uh, which I want to share with you at the end of this video, so do stay tuned. Um, so I've got something exciting that I want to share with you guys and then we will head over to um, the training. So here we go. Gold. Um, as you can see, gold, we had a nice rally this morning. Um, or today, should I say. We had a nice breakout last week. Um, and then obviously now we we're trading over here and then we had the beautiful spike up. You can see that we did close above uh above just above the resistance on the four hour time frame but then we quickly move back within it so uh, this is definitely a false breakout for me um, and we will be looking for um, further downside and the confirmation will come when we break this support level so the trade is not on at the moment uh, ideally if you know I wasn't able to get on board of this today but the ideal trade would have been if we go into a smaller time frame um, you know the I would have been sort of here the minute we saw this candle not push any higher go short and then we're back within this range over here so uh, one thing that could happen tomorrow for the next couple of days is we could bounce between support and resistance support and resistance until we get to the trend line Alternatively, if any other news does come out, then obviously we're going to act accordingly to that. So that is what's on the cards for this week. Uh, until we get a break below this um, trend line or this support level, should I say, I'm not going to be looking for any short until we get a, a test, a, sh a break and a retest. So USD CAD got pummeled today. Um, as you can see, uh, this trend line here has been nicely respected. And um, uh, if we actually look at oil, oil's been on a bit of a bit of a bit of a push. You can see today we had a nice push to the upside. Um, classic uh, bull flag here, bush, and then straight up. So if this continues to go higher, which it seems like it is going to at this present moment, um, you know we're currently sitting at resistance, so maybe we might get some. Uh, momentum might slow down tomorrow for the rest of the week and then we might get a bit of a pullback which will then obviously boost USD CAD, USD CAD will then have a bit of a rally itself so we need to have a look and see how this is going to react to this resistance level but on a daily you can see we had a nice two bullish candles for the last two days so oil is not one that I'm currently looking at trading but I'm However, obviously, I am looking at trading um, the loony, so we'll see how the price reacts at this resistance level. And if uh, we get a rejection from there, then we could you could look to short it until the trend line. Um, and obviously, USD CAD will look to go long. Okay, New Zealand USD. Okay, we had a nice uh, triple top pattern here. Um, obviously, we had a nice. Uh, formation triple top confirmation of the break we're now sort of currently retesting if we go into a smaller time frame we're now consolidating a bit you can see we did have a bit of a push to resistance and um, failed to break this level so again still bearish on this pair we're trading below the 50 and the 200 um, so anytime we do push up or any rallies we look to sell A lot of Brexit news coming out um, tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, there is another uh, a vote coming out, so that could put a spanner in the works. But you know, you can see that we've broken this um, 
nice ascending channel that we had for quite some time broke retested and now obviously we're just consolidating at the moment so I would say this area here is going to be a bit of a consolidation zone uh, and we might just go sideways for a bit before we're either going to break to the upside or downside depending on the news this week obviously Brexit is happening hopefully very soon and um, we'll see how it goes but these will be your key levels um, if we do carry on to the downside obviously first target second target third target um, initially okay USD JPY okay so a lot of uh, people that uh, are in talks with in terms of trading and that they also expected this to to collapse today and uh, obviously we're trading at resistance we've got this channel here um, but for me uh, what w the reason I didn't short it was purely because we broke this trend line so momentum has shifted um, from down from bearish to bullish uh, although it beat very short term um, obviously you're looking for short term trades you're not looking for any long term um, but again obviously we just need to see how the cards play you can see we've got two reversal um, patterns on the daily there so it's a bit of conflicting biases but again we just have to see we've got nice support on the 50 there we are trading above the 50 and the 200 so obviously any sort of pullbacks um, you know you would look to buy at this present time until we actually close below that level there um, I don't think I'd look to I don't think I would look to sell this pair yet um, still still currently trading on the uptrend on the four hours so we'll see how that pans out tomorrow <clears throat> pound Aussie okay again we need to have a look at the Aussie dollar the Aussie dollar has been pretty weak had a bit of a shitty week last week um, so obviously that threw a bit of a spanner in the works, but obviously the pound hasn't been too great either. It's been very volatile. You can see these, the size of these candles, um, you know, they're very, very big. So again, we just need to wait and see. You've got a nice support level over here. So until we actually break this, this level of support there or there, you know, you, you're pretty looking golden. I mean, you could look to, to go along at this level unless obviously wait for a candle close um, but yeah it's, with Brexit it's a bit uh, volatile um, so four more pairs we're going to do uh, pound CAD Aussie USD Aussie JPY and pound um, pound dollar Okay, so this is a trade that I did place last week, and uh, yeah, I'd win a bit, bit against us. Maybe it, probably the better entry would have been at the retest, but I thought this would be the retest here. So we just have to play this by ear. We can still see we've got a bit of a long drop to go, um, but we actually do need a a nice close below this support level. I think I'd be a lot happier with the trade once we get a close below there. But if we look at it in this grand scheme of things, we did have a double top there, but um, So that's looking like our range. Same thing with pound yen. Obviously, we broke the trend line, so now we're going to look to consolidate. Um, so we'll probably look to trade sideways for a few days. Um, so you could look to buy at this level, sell at this level, buy at this level, sell at this level until we get a clear break, candle close, and we need some sort of pattern to warrant the continuation. 
Aussie USD. Okay, today obviously had a bit of a good run. Um, you can see we're consolidating at the moment. We're in this range. Yeah, false breakout there, so that's valid. You can see this rejection candle here, so that's obviously the proper way to, sorry, the proper um, resistance level. So again, obviously while we're trading sideways here, you know, we've got this resistance, minor resistance here. So if you wanted to be an aggressive trader, you could look to short it at this level and obviously look to try and ride it all the way down. Um, obviously just trailing your stops as you're going. So Aussie JPY, okay, same sort of thing as uh, USD JPY. Okay, obviously the, we're still to the upside on this. Um, have a look. Okay. So again, if we look on, you can see what's happening. We had that breakout downside. We're now we had another impulse down correction. We are looking for another pullback to the trend line, and then we can wait and see what is going to happen, how the price is going to react at this trend line, whether we're going to look to go long, or whether we're going to break to go short. Obviously, on the four hour, we're trading above the 50 and the 200, so that is something to be wary of. Uh, obviously, any pullbacks look to go long, and any rallies you look to sell. That's the market there. Last but not least, surely we've got pound USD cable. Okay. Uh, last week we had a nice uh, sort of uh, channel forming here. Uh, we had a nice move to the top, straight down. Um, if you actually look at this, it was a nice 61 retracement. You can see rejection off the 61. If we go into a one hour, you can see a nice uh, bullish engulfing candle. Just onto that little puppy over there. And obviously, targets are 127, 141 of the extensions. Um, so, obviously, first, second, third targets. Obviously, first two were smashed, third one wasn't hit. Um, but yeah, it's a good way to use extensions and uh, they do work 100% do work. So, if you haven't, if you don't know how to use extensions, get in touch. Otherwise, I'll show you in a minute. You can go to my course and you can have a look at that. Um, so that was just a quick, quick, very quick breakdown. Um, I will be doing another review after our team training tomorrow night, and we can evaluate and see what uh, the markets are up to from there. So, um, hey, let me know what currency pairs are your favorite to trade. You can post a comment below um and tell me what you like to trade and if you've got a particular strategy that you're looking at or that you've that you find very successful do you trade patterns do you use candlesticks do you use indicators i'd love to know please comment below and uh, i'd like to connect with you guys so um, give a thumbs up if you like this video uh, the next thing is obviously my trading course if you go over to uh, shreddedfxtrader.com forward slash course, forward slash Forex online trading course, it is there. So what is Forex trading all about? Types of analysis, trends, candlestick charts, patterns, Fibonacci, it is all there. The best of all, it is all for free. Don't have to pay for it. Um, so guys, if you wanted to take it one step further and you wanted to join a huge community of uh, forex traders and like-minded people and you wanted to connect with more of us then please get over to getting started in forex trading on my website tradefxtrader.com and from there you can find the link to join all of us we've got networks all over the world um, here you have access to seven eight figure 
seven and eight figure income earners who will have weekly market breakdowns, daily live video breakdowns via a TV channel. We think we've got like three or four live shows every single day. So um, check it out. If you're looking at learning and trading, it's great to network with like-minded people and in any case. So have a look at that and hit me up in the comments if that's what you're interested in. Um, otherwise, drop me a private message. You can always get me on my website. I've got all my contact details on there as well. So um, I look forward to speaking to you and obviously helping you on your Forex journey. So let me know what you're trading this week as well so that I can obviously have a look at it as well. And if you are new, any assistance, obviously get in touch. For now, have a good evening and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.